black pill, all right? You've heard me talk a lot about red pill, which I think is fucking retarded as well, which makes guys angry, resentful, and, and confrontational towards women. Well, black pill is not any better. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I wanna to talk about why black pill is dumb as fuck, okay? Black pill, otherwise known as looks maxing, is the view that women are only attracted to physical aesthetics, to physical looks, and that's the whole equation. I'm gonna talk about why that's incredibly dumb and why I have thousands of, of examples to the contrary. Okay, before we continue, if you are not yet a subscriber, this channel offers straightforward, no bullshit, practical advice that's efficient, effective, and optimized for dating and seduction, okay? Please subscribe below if you are not already a subscriber. Press the notification bell for alerts of new videos every single day. And if you want to master the entire seduction game, accomplish your dating goals in a couple weeks, okay, literally a week or two from now, have the exact dating goals that you want, okay? Jump on a free 30-minute call. It'll be with either me or someone on my team coach on my team and we'll walk you through based on wherever you're at in the game a customized game plan to get you extremely good at this very 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 quickly and solve the problem permanently don't delay jump on the free 30 minute call we'll go over all the details there and tell you what the options are for helping you so black pill all right you've heard me talk a lot about red pill which i think is fucking retarded as well which makes guys angry resentful and and confrontational towards women well black pill is not any better Okay, black pill, as I said before, is where guys think that the entire equation for getting the girl is fully the anesthetic equation. They think it's fully all about looks. Okay, that's the only part of the equation. Another term for the black pill stuff is looks maxing. They think that it's only important to increase your aesthetics and that's gonna be the only factor that gets you the girls. Okay, that's incredibly dumb. These looks maxing and black pill, black pill groups are incredibly, incredibly counterproductive. What you have is a bunch of men that are all insulting each other based on weak jaw lines, based on receding hairlines, based on not looking like the stereotypical alpha Chad, okay? Which uh, some of you have heard before, they have this idea of a Chad, and it's a bunch of guys worshiping the idea of a Chad and making fun of each other for not measuring up to what a Chad looks like, which is like a 10 out of 10 aesthetic man, okay? That's completely ridiculous. What, and what's happening with all these guys is they're all feeling defeated, they're all feeling handicapped, they're all feeling hopeless because they think they have no chance because they don't look like a Chad or they don't look close enough to a Chad. Now, I want you to th consider some common sense in this whole picture, okay? Would you guys agree, for those of you that are watching, that there are better ways to text a girl than others? Are there better texts to send than others? Yes, of course. Are there better ways to approach a girl than others? Yes, of course. Are there better ways to direct an interaction forward than others? Yes, of course. There's strategy at every area of this game. Every level, from a macro level, down to all the micro details, there's strategy at every level. Okay, does it, when you try to take a girl home, there's 14 major objections that come up. When you try to get a girl on a date, there, you can build deductive compliance ladders versus just sending whatever you want. The deductive compliance ladders are going to grease the slide and from a quantitative metric standpoint, give you a far greater advantage to getting more dates than just texting whatever you want. And I can make that argument across every area of the game. Okay? This is a skill game. There's lots of strategy. There's lots of tactics. I often get guys that are compounding all their bottlenecks, okay? leaving looks out of it completely for now. I'm not, saying, I'm not a coach who says looks don't matter, but I think it's like the icing on the cake, and it's also largely a threshold thing. So don't be very, very overweight. Don't be rail thin. Okay? Don't have terrible hygiene and, and smell like shit, like RST Max, okay? and have body odor. But if you're adhering to all these threshold things, the vast majority of the equation is your game. Okay, I get clients, the, the typical client, he's not getting results online, on online dating, because he has average pictures. So we get him, he, we, he goes for average pictures, we have him get a pro photo shoot, okay? And this is an, an aesthetic thing, but I'll go through the strategic aspects of all the rest. Then I have the girls pick the top five photos, and then we max out the aesthetics on those top five photos, okay? Then I tell him, and I write his bio for him, then I tell him exactly what to message sequence wise to go from a match to a phone number. That's a skill part. Then I tell him exactly how to leverage running five tinders at once. That's a skill part. I show him how to run his night game interactions, skill and strategy, tons of it. I show him how to run his day game interactions, skill and strategy, tons of it. I show him exactly what to text in all control paths. I show him how to deal with objections in cold approach and in text all skill and strategy. All those things matter. If you take two chads, okay, or even like a chad and like a guy that's like average looking, and one of them is, is doing very 
solid texting, he's gonna get more meetups. He's gonna get the girls responding more positively, okay? And then there's a very specific way to run your date to ensure the chance of her coming back to your house are high and to make sure that you're not putting the friend zone. So there's a, spe a specific way to sexualize. Then there's a very smooth escalation sequence that's gonna max out chance of hooking up there. So at every step of the whole funnel, you can keep the percentage is high of how many girls pass through from level to level by optimizing the skill component, by optimizing the strategy component. Black Pill just dismisses all of that, okay, and says, oh, well, if you're not good looking, you're fucked, okay? I have plenty of clients that are average looking that have gotten multi hundred lay count. How do, how do you explain that? Okay, I get clients all the time that, that don't look like chats. Almost all of them don't look like chats, and I get all of them very good. Okay, I get them closing one to two new girls a week. I get them putting one new girl on rotation per week. I get them running circles around guys that look far better than them. Okay, and again, I'm not saying looks don't matter. I'm not saying that, oh, if you get game, you can do better than any good looking guy out there. What I'm saying is game is the vast majority of the equation. Guys should work on maximizing their sexual market value, which I made a video on recently. I'll put the thumbnail to that and I'll link it at the end. So you guys should work on maximizing your sexual market value. For me personally, I just recently did Number two out of four teeth whitenings. I have two more in the next two weeks. My teeth are a lot whiter. I have a Botox thing. I'm 37, by the way. I have my second Botox ever for the wrinkles on my forehead and around the eyes uh, happening this week. I have uh, a hair transplant that I just did a few weeks ago, okay, where they took some hairs from the back where it's not perceptible because it's dense and they implanted them one by one and I'm gonna have my hairline fixed, okay? And I take supplements and anti-aging regimens and, and water and, and different sunscreen and skin treatments and stuff like this to keep the skin looking young and, and supple and all this shit and it, to maximize my lifespan and minimize chances of disease, okay? And so on and so forth. And I go to the gym and I work out so I'm in good physical shape. So each guy that's watching this, not in an obsessive way, not in a way where they think they're not good enough, though they should be working on their sexual market value. It's going to help bring more to the table. Okay, of course, why wouldn't you want to do that? It's gonna help give you some slight advantage. But the vast part of the equation is the strategic part. You need to know how to text, how to run your date, how to do the closing at the house, the key things to do to retain, how to structure your cold approach and night game and a day game, how to set up your online game profile, how to message going from a match to a phone number. All those things are incredibly important from a strategic standpoint. You know how to, you need to know how to manage your time in a nightclub and how to navigate and interaction successfully, et cetera, et cetera, and so on and so forth. And all of these things, and, and these mindset things that go into the game, the inner game parts as well, all these things are gonna make or break your results. Not looking like a chat or not, okay? And as I said, it's incredibly counterproductive and unproductive to be part of that community whatsoever. Anyone that's part of the black pill community is just gonna sit around and rationalize their lack of results of women and blame it on not being a chat, okay? It's that simple, I've seen it a million times. And when they sit in those forums, it's incredibly, 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 incredibly toxic because it's just a bunch of men insulting other men. No one's getting fucking laid. No one's encouraging each other. It's just all a bunch of guys. Oh, you're not a Chad. You're no, well, no, you're not a Chad. Oh, well, your jawline's weak. Oh, well, you're not muscular enough. Oh, well, your facial aesthetics aren't good enough. Oh, well, you're not tall enough. None of that is productive, okay? As I said, a lot of these things are out of your control. You can't control your height. You can't control your ethnicity, this and that. So don't make fucking excuses about it. Go and maximize what you can, okay? Go to the gym if you're out of shape. Take care of your fucking hygiene and, and beard maintenance and this and that, if, if, if that is not in order, okay? And so on and so forth. Okay? Get a teeth whitening. Do stuff like that that's going to make you more appealing. But that's not gonna make or break you. And I have thousands of counterexamples to the contrary, and I have thousands of counterexamples and can make endless rational arguments too why this is a skill game, why this is a strategy game. Why am I getting most clients on track to do 50 to 100 girls a year regardless of their look? How is that? That's a, that's a real objective fact, okay? If this were all looks, it would only be that my most attractive clients get lots of results and the rest suck. But that's not the case. The guys that learn the game well do very well with the game, okay? Because it's a skill game like poker and chess. Imagine if I were to say, oh, only the good looking poker players are gonna win a lot of money. Or only the good looking chess players are gonna become grandmasters. It's simply not the case, okay? And it's not the case here either. So if you are a black pill or a looks maxing guy, I highly suggest that you do a little introspection. And first of all, look around at how many of those guys are slamming hot chicks, okay? Not really very many at all, 
They're just very good at putting other men down and telling other men why they're inadequate. Second of all, how are any of those mindsets productive in any sense whatsoever? Okay. As I said, the whole real way you should look at this is to optimize and maximize the sexual market value that's in your control. I just made a video about that recently, how to optimize SMV, sexual market value. And then don't fucking worry about it. Then focus on your game. Focus on your strategy and, and, and focus on becoming cooler and more alpha and bringing more value to the table and learning the strategies of how to properly move things forward. That's where your focus needs to be. Not on fucking red pill with resenting women, hating women, being confrontational with women. Not on fucking black pill where everyone's trying to chad worship and insult each other and blame their lack of success on the fact that they're not a chad. Okay? End of discussion. That's all that needs to be said on this stupid fucking topic. Okay? If you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below for notifications of new videos every day, press the notification bell. And if you wanna master this game and get very, very good results, even if you don't look like a Chad, please jump on a free 30 minute call either with me or one of my coaches. We'll walk you through a customized game plan, how we can get you very good, very fast. Thank you so much for watching. I'm John Anthony, and I will see you on the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.